Good students, let us start the lesson Acid, Bases and Salt on page 19 and 20, 21. The last class we have discussed about some indicator, olfactory indicator which detects smell. Okay, uh, if smell is present, if smell is retained, then we can say the given substance is acid. If the smell is vanished, that means vanilla, onion, this whole extract you can take. After putting in base, if it is vanished, smell of onion or vanilla is vanished means it is sense that it is a basis. Now let's move on to chemical property. Most of the metals react with acid to form salt along with hydrogen gas, which is neutral gas. Now we are going to see activity 2.3, the reactivity of metal with the acid. Here you are going to take test tube in which you are going to take zinc pieces, zinc granules. On adding sulfuric acid or hydrochloric acid to this test tube containing zinc, you can see bubbles formation. The bubble is nothing but hydrogen gas. And this hydrogen gas is allowed to pass into the soap solution containing in a trough. We can absorb that bubbles evolve bubbles of this hydrogen gas rises from the trough how will you prove it is hydrogen gas because it is a colorless gas and how will you test you are going to take burning splinter to the mouth of the trough uh, that means near the bubbles it burns with pop sound it is confirmed now only hydrogen burns with the pop sound Thus, what did you conclude? We conclude that metal zinc react with acid and the evolves hydrogen gas. How will you prove? When you bring burning splinter to the gas or to the bubbles, it burns with pop salt. If you do the same activity by replacing hydrochloric acid with acetic acid, it also produces hydrogen gas. Because acetic acid is an acid, when it reacts with the metal like zinc, it liberates hydrogen gas along with the salt. We have studied metal with acid, now we are going to study metal with the base. You might have studied in the previous class, most of the metals react with acid. Very few metals don't react with acid like silver, gold, platinum, etc. But in case of base, very few metals react with the base like zinc, aluminium and lead. These metals react with the base to form salt and hydrogen gas. Look at this equation. Zinc metal Zn react with the alkali base NaOH to form sodium zincate. Sodium symbol is Na, zinc zincate symbol is ZnO2. Zincate valency is 2, so Na2 ZnO2 plus hydrogen gas. Next chemical properties of Acid is reaction of acid with carbonate, metal carbonate or metal bicarbonate. Carbonate formula CO3, bicarbonate formula HCO3. When any acid react with the carbonate or bicarbonate, we will get three products. One is salt, water and other one is carbon dioxide gas. In 2.5 activity, we are going to do this metal reaction with the carbonate salt. Here the salt is Na2CO3, sodium carbonate, and the acid is hydrochloric acid. On reacting, I told you carbonate with acid, three product you would get. Uh, one, first one is salt. How do you get salt? Hydrogen plays. You write the metal. Here metal is sodium. So hydrogen will be replaced by sodium metal. Accordingly, you will get sodium chloride salt and water and carbon dioxide gas. How will you prove that it is a carbon dioxide gas? Two ways you can prove it. First method, bring the burning splinter to the gas. The burning splinter, the fire will be put off. The fire will be extinguished. It shows that carbon dioxide gas is evolving from this reaction. Second test for carbon dioxide is you bring lime water. Lime water formula is calcium hydroxide CaOH twice. When you collect this gas, evolved gas to the lime water solution, the lime water change into milky color because of reaction of lime water with the carbon dioxide, you got the new product calcium carbonate and OH liberate water, you know. 
Understood? These two ways you can test the evolution of carbon dioxide from this carbonate with acid. Now the question is how will you prepare bicarbonate or hydrogen carbonate salt? You know salt should have one metal, isn't it? Now we are going to prepare calcium bicarbonate. How will you prepare from three product? Calcium salt, calcium carbonate and water and carbon dioxide. On adding these three product you would get calcium bicarbonate salt. If you, are on, if you want to get magnesium bicarbonate, you got to take magnesium carbonate salt. Understand? Then water, then carbon dioxide. Like this three product on adding, we would get what salt? Bicarbonate salt, that is HCO3. The formula of limestone is CaCO3. The same way chalk formula also CaCO3. And also marble formula is also CaCO3. So these three are different forms of calcium carbonate. So three formula, all the three is having the same formula. Limestone, chalk and marble. The its formula is CaCO3. The next chemical reaction is reaction of acid with base. You all are familiar with this equation. What is the name of the reaction? The reaction of acid and base is called neutralization reaction. What are the two products you would get? Salt and water. If you want to prepare sodium chloride by neutralization method, you take sodium base in NaOH and a chloride acid hydrochloric acid. Suppose you want to prepare magnesium sulfate from this neutralization method, then you are going to take which base? Magnesium base, magnesium hydroxide and which is acid? Sulfate, sulfuric acid. So by combining these two, you will get magnesium sulfate and water. In the same way, acid react with the metallic oxide. Metallic acid is a base, so you will get salt and water. Acid with the metallic oxide forms salt and water. For example, magnesium oxide plus HCl, you will get magnesium chloride plus water. It is also kind of neutralization reaction.